gab. To gab is to talk at length on the phone or in person. This is kind of a slang word, so it's not used by everyone, but it is common to hear this word used among speakers of American English. Teresa and Zara can gab on the phone for hours. What are they gabbing about? The supervisor told the employees to stop gabbing and get back to work. Ned gabs on and on about his grandchildren, and it gets boring fast. We gabbed with the neighbors for a few hours at a party down the street. Henry has the gift of gab. He can talk about any topic at any time. A person with the gift of gab would make a good radio personality or talk show host. Gadget. A gadget is a tool or a device. It's usually useful but it might not be. I have a gadget for removing the oil filter from my car. My friend Bob has an interesting gadget in his Swiss Army knife, but he's not sure what it's used for. Hardware stores sell gadgets for fixing things around the house. There are all sorts of gadgets that can be used in the kitchen for preparing food. A garlic press is a gadget used for crushing and cutting garlic. A potato peeler is a gadget used for peeling potatoes. An ice cream scoop is a gadget that scoops out ice cream. Some gadgets are very practical, but it's also true that some gadgets are not useful or impractical. Gag. The word gag has a few different meanings depending on whether it's used as a verb or a noun. When used as a verb, gag means to choke or have the feeling of choking, or it's a natural reflex of the tongue pushed to the back of the mouth to prevent an object from going down the throat. Michelle gagged a little when the doctor swabbed the back of her throat. Brian gagged on some Brussels sprouts that his mother told him to eat. The idea of eating an earthworm makes me want to gag. That's so gross, it makes me want to gag. When gag is used as a noun, it's a joke or a plan to create a funny situation. Saturday Night Live is a television program well known for raunchy humor and politically inspired gags. Gags written for the performance weren't very funny. Samantha has been the victim of several office gags over the last few years. A gag can also be something that prevents a person from speaking. The thieves tied up their victims and put gags in their mouths. The judge imposed a gag order on everyone serving on the jury. The man was prevented from speaking through the use of a gag placed in and around his mouth. Gain 
when something improves or increases, there is a gain. You can use this word as a noun or as a verb. This is how you can use gain as a verb. You can gain a lot of knowledge by going to school. Jeremy gained some new friends when he joined the soccer club. Hilda feels like she's gaining her strength back after a serious illness. The competition is gaining on us. We have to work harder this year. Your teacher has gained a lot of weight in the last couple of years. What have you gained from all of your hard work? This is how you can use gain as a noun. There have been a lot of gains in the area of reading among the students. Many gains have been made over the years by women in the workplace. Gains from their investments were impressive. Our gains outweighed our losses last year, so we made a profit. Gamble. A person who gambles takes certain risks in order to gain an advantage in the form of a position or increased wealth. People go to a casino to gamble. They also go to a racetrack to gamble on horse racing. In some places, it's illegal to gamble. A friend of mine gambled away his life's savings. Now he's broke. Have you ever gambled on anything? The word gamble is often used for situations that have nothing to do with the sport of gambling, but involve risk. Mario is gambling with his life when he rides a motorcycle without wearing a helmet. Ignoring your education is gambling with your future. Extreme sports, such as mountain climbing and skydiving, don't seem to be worth the gamble. The word gambling is a gerund. The state where I live permits limited gambling. It's not easy to make a living by gambling. Gambling can be very addictive. A person with a gambling addiction might gamble away his or her personal fortune. The word gamble can be used as a noun. It's a gamble to ignore your doctor's advice. Smoking is a gamble. Not everyone gets sick from it, but many people do. I wouldn't want to take that gamble. Moving to the United States 
may or may not be a good idea. It's a gamble. Buying a house as an investment could be a good gamble, depending on the location. A person who gambles is known as a gambler. Poker is a very popular card game among gamblers. A successful gambler has to know when to call it quits. Game A game is a fun activity. There might be rules and a formal place for a game, but games don't always have rules or a structure. There are many different types of games. Would you like to play a game? Monopoly is a fun board game. Chess is a game of strategy. Roulette is a game of luck. Baseball is a sport, but it's also a game. Professional baseball teams play about 160 games per season. Football is a game that's played on a field. Basketball is a game that's played on a court. Children play all sorts of games, such as hide-and-seek, tag, and hopscotch. Some games have complicated sets of rules. Other games have simple rules. The Summer Olympic Games are played every four years and attract competitors from all over the world. There are some other ways to use the word game. If you try to game the system, you are trying to do something that is a little dishonest. There are some people who receive assistance from the government and try to game the system. A person who plays games at work might try to create negative situations for co-workers. Our boss is a person who doesn't like to play games. He's very honest with his employees. A person who plays mind games tries to fool or outwit another person. Mind games are regarded as being somewhat rude or inappropriate. War games are military exercises in which soldiers pretend to fight against an enemy. A person who plays a lot of video games on a computer or through a video console is called a gamer. When you put on your game face, that means you are ready to compete. Are you game? If you are game, that means you are ready to do something. Game on. The word game is sometimes used in reference to wild animals. A game park is an enclosed area where hunters can shoot at and kill wild animals. Game meat is the meat that comes from an animal, such as a tiger, a bear, or a deer. If something tastes gamey, it tastes like game meat. This type of meat has a very strong taste.
I don't like to eat shark meat. It tastes too gamey. Gap. A gap is an empty space of some kind. It can be narrow or wide. The gap between the two cars was not wide enough to allow for another car to park there. The boy can spit water through a gap between his front teeth. When the dentist removed Bob's tooth, it left a big gap. A fire destroyed the store and created a gap between the buildings. We drove our car through a gap in the mountain range. The gap that exists between rich people and poor people in the United States continues to get larger. I have a gap in my schedule tomorrow. I can meet you at that time. A spark plug has to be gapped properly in order for it to work in an engine. Garage a garage is a place where cars are parked or stored. A two-car garage is a very common feature for a house in the United States. Garages are either attached or detached from the house. Most garage doors are opened with an electric door opener. The garage is a great place for kids to play when it's raining outside. It's usually possible to enter a house through the garage. Parking garages are available in downtown areas of a city. A business that fixes cars is also referred to as a garage. I have to take my car to the garage for a repair. There are other uses for a garage. You can store all of your junk in a garage. If you have too much junk in your garage, you can have a garage sale. You can start a garage band. Garage bands usually play loud rock music. Neighbors are usually unhappy with a garage band nearby. You can start a business in a garage in order to save on costs. Google started in a garage. Microsoft also got its start in a garage. Gas. Gas is a substance that can come in the form of a liquid or as something lighter than liquid, such as air. In these sentences, gas is a liquid. We often use the word gas as a substitute for gasoline. My car ran out of gas. Gas prices are climbing. Give it some gas. I gotta get some gas. This car is easy on gas. It gets good gas mileage. In these sentences and questions, the word gas does not refer to a liquid. It's much lighter than liquid. A gas might be colorless or odorless, 
depending on what kind of a gas it is. Do you smell gas? On our planet, methane is a type of gas, but on Titan, a moon of Saturn, methane is liquid. Jupiter is a planet that is made up entirely of gas. It's a gaseous planet. A gas leak forced the community to evacuate. The Syrian government has been accused of using gas against its own people. A gas attack killed and injured thousands of people in Iraq in the 1990s. The dentist gave me some gas before going to work on a cavity. Human beings are also capable of producing gas. That burrito gave me gas. No one knew it was David who was passing gas. Someone's got some really bad gas. Broccoli leaves me feeling a little gassy. Sometimes the word gas is used in American slang to mean that an activity was a lot of fun. The concert was a gas. We had a gas at the party. What a gas. Gasp. The word gasp is used when describing a person who is having difficulty breathing. By the end of the 5,000 meter race, the runners were gasping for breath. A forest fire in Canada left residents choking and gasping for air. The members of the combat team remained committed to the fight until their last gasp. The girl released an audible gasp upon learning the shocking news of a friend's death. When the man came up from the bottom of the pool, he was gasping for air. Gather. To gather means to get, get together, collect, or form a group. The girls gathered some flowers from the garden and made a bouquet. We gathered some wild blueberries and ate them for lunch. Some crows are gathering around a dead rabbit and eating it. Let's gather some guys together and play baseball. You need to gather your things. We're leaving now. Large crowds have been gathering in cities across the country to protest against the government. Gather together. I have something to tell all of you. The noun form of this word is gathering. There's a large gathering of people in the park today. They're celebrating Earth Day. A gathering of bicyclists forms every last Friday of the month for the critical mass rally. Gender. Use the word gender when speaking about the differences among animals or people. A person is either male or female. This is an important word to understand when filling out application forms or forms for government agencies. Sometimes the word sex is used in place of gender. 
What's the person's sex? What's the person's gender? These questions have the same meaning. What's the gender of the child? The expectant parents ask the doctor not to reveal their baby's gender. It's not legal in the United States to discriminate on the basis of gender. Sometimes it's necessary to segregate students according to gender. Gender roles are changing. Now it's not uncommon for a man to stay home and take care of the children while his wife works. Many countries in the world struggle with gender equality. General. Use the word general for things that aren't specific or for situations when there aren't many details. When something is general, the category, type, or idea is broad and wide. You get the general idea, don't you? The students were given some general information about the topic, but nothing in detail. The general impression of the event was that it was unorganized. In general, the design of the car is boring, so we have to change the design and make it more interesting. The adverb form for this word is generally. The person who owns this company is generally here two or three times a week. Generally speaking, the people who come to this website are interested in improving their English grammar skills. She generally focuses her attention on her career to the exclusion of everything else. The word generalization is a noun. The teacher made a generalization about the students. As a result, they were offended. If you want to communicate effectively, it's important to focus on important details and avoid generalizations. That's just a generalization. He doesn't have specific knowledge about the issue. Generate. To generate is to make or produce something, usually a product, an idea, or money. Their company is generating a lot of new revenue this year. Manufacturing generates employment for millions of workers worldwide. Secretary Kerry hopes the gesture of peace will generate goodwill among the people of the country. Police brutality generates a lot of hostility among people who suffer from it. The word generate is often used when describing a source of energy. A windmill generates electricity from the wind. Electricity can be generated from solar power. A hydroelectric plant generates electricity from the flow of water from a river or a dam. Electricity generated by burning coal is cheap, but it pollutes the air. Solar energy can generate enough power for a person's house. A generator 
generates electricity. The word generation is a noun. The generation of electricity from coal is not sustainable. The world needs to find cleaner sources of energy. The generation of knowledge from a university results in the development of new technology. Sometimes the word generation refers to a group of people born within a 20 to 25 year period of time. This use of the word is quite different from the examples above. The baby boom generation began in the late 1940s after World War II. Older people have a hard time relating to members of younger generations. Several generations will have to pass before the painful memories of the war are erased. Gentle A person who is gentle is careful not to break or harm something that is easily broken or harmed. Sometimes the word gentle means soft. The mother held her baby in a gentle manner. You have to be gentle with a kitten or a puppy. Try to be gentle with that glass. It's fragile. A gentle rain fell throughout the day. The gentle elderly woman was kind to all of the people in her neighborhood. The word gently is an adverb. The teacher spoke gently to the children. You have to handle that lamp gently or else it might break. The father gently laid his baby in the crib. The words gentle and man form gentleman. This word was once used to describe a man who was wealthy enough to avoid physical labor, but now it can be used in any situation as a way of showing respect to a man. This word is pronounced in the same way, whether singular or plural. Bob is kind and generous to everyone he meets. He's a real gentleman. The gentleman in the brown jacket needs assistance. Ladies and gentlemen, May I have your attention? The gentlemen in the room met to discuss their future plans for the company. Gentlemen. Use the word gentlemen when talking about a man. The plural form is gentlemen. The pronunciation is about the same for both singular and plural forms. This word is used in formal settings, in business, and when trying to be polite. The gentleman in the dark blue suit needs assistance with his luggage. Please bring these drinks to the gentleman sitting under the umbrella. Excuse me, gentlemen, does this jacket belong to any one of you? Would the gentleman at the microphone please state his name and address?
Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Rosa explained to the police officer that the gentleman in the red Ferrari cut her off at the intersection and caused her car to crash. A gentleman always lets a lady go first. Germ. A germ is a very, very small living organism. This is the thing that moves from one person to another in the transmission of a disease. The word germ is a noun. It's usually used in the plural form, germs. There are germs everywhere. Germs do well in a warm, moist environment. To look at a germ, you have to use a microscope. Some people wear face masks at airports because they're afraid of other people's germs. You should wash your hands after going to the bathroom to prevent the spread of germs. A good mouthwash kills the germs that cause bad breath. Please cover your mouth when you cough. No one wants your germs. A cell phone is usually all full of germs. A person who is sick should stay at home in bed so that he or she doesn't spread germs around and make everyone else sick. Sometimes the word Germy is used as an adjective. The children got their germy hands all over everything. These bedsheets are all germy. They have to be washed. Olivia avoids using public bathrooms because she doesn't want to sit on a germy toilet seat. There are two other things worth mentioning about the word germ. When someone first has an idea for something, it could be referred to as a germ of an idea. That's how the idea begins. Related to the word germ is the word germination, which is a noun. Germination is the process by which seeds develop into plants. The word germinate is a verb. To germinate seeds is to put them into soil and keep them warm and moist. Eventually, the seeds become plants. Gesture. People gesture to communicate. The use of the hands or other parts of the body have some sort of meaning. She gestured for the man to join her at the table. She used her finger when gesturing. The teacher made a gesture for the students to stop talking. A gesture from the man in the car indicated he was okay after the accident. The raised middle finger is considered an obscene gesture in the United States. A thumb pointed upwards is a widely used gesture that means something is good. His gesture indicates everything is okay.
The word gesture is also used to describe an intention or an action of some significance. Bringing flowers to the party was a very nice gesture. The gesture of friendship was welcomed by the other side. An offer of money in certain situations is interpreted as a rude gesture. Ghost. A ghost is the spirit of a person who has died. The spirit may or may not be visible to people. Sometimes ghosts make noises or move objects. Not everyone believes that ghosts are real, but almost everyone says that they are very scary. Ghosts portrayed in movies, in television, and in books are usually white or nearly transparent. Some people say that house is haunted by a ghost. Ghosts aren't real, are they? We saw a movie last weekend about a house full of ghosts. The children went out trick-or-treating on Halloween dressed as ghosts. Tom said he saw a ghost in the attic. She's so pale, she looks like a ghost. She's as white as a ghost. She looks as though she's seen a ghost. Giant. A person or a thing that is very, very large or has a lot of influence might be called a giant. American football players look like giants when they have on all of their equipment. At 6 foot 11 inches, the man looks like a giant when standing next to other people. Steve Jobs was a giant in the home computer industry. Henry Ford was a giant in the automobile industry. Patricia says she has a giant headache. There's a giant rabbit in my backyard. Reynaldo grew a giant tomato. Giants are also characters found in children's stories and in fiction. Businesses and professional sports teams use the word giant. The New York Giants play football in New York. The San Francisco Giants play baseball in San Francisco. In Jack and the Beanstalk, Jack meets a giant who tries to eat him. Giant bicycles are sold at bicycle shops. You can buy giant sunflower seeds at a grocery store. The Jolly Green Giant is the mascot for Green Giant a distributor of vegetables in Minnesota. The giant slalom is a form of downhill skiing in which skiers ski between gates.